Hello everyone, this is Aaron Johnson with the Johnson Eye Racing Team, bringing you a race today from Lanier National Speedway in uh, Brazelton, Georgia. Lanier is a 3 8 mile uh, low-banked asphalt uh, track just outside Atlanta, just across the road from Road Atlanta. Let's walk through the starting lineup today, starting in the 12th position, car 11, that's Max Antoine. In the 11th starting spot on the grid is Aaron Johnson in car double zero. He's going to show up on the telemetry down here on the bottom left-hand side in car number eight. But he is running car double zero today. Starting in the 10th spot is car number six. That's Cliff Lamer in the black and blue 34 Ford Legends. In starting spot number nine, it's Brian Owenby in the 10. And number eight on the starting grid, that's car 12 of David Mulliken. In the seventh starting spot is Daniel Oftenbrinka in the nine car. In the sixth spot, that's uh, car number two of uh, Percy Gammon. Uh, starting in the fifth spot in the FedEx sponsored car number 11 is uh, Richard Bowman. Bowman's going to show up uh, on your telemetry down here as car number three because of the way uh, iRacing takes care of their bookkeeping, but he will be the number 11 FedEx car uh, during the race. Starting fourth, the Bright 7 Fury, <coughs> excuse me, the Fury uh, Legends car of John Juneman. In the third spot in car four is Heinrich Muller. On the front row outside is Eugene Amick in the one. And on the pole today, David Beatty in the RDG Racing Legends car. <coughs> Pardon me again. Let's pick up the action here. Pace car leads him down the back straight away into uh, turn number four. <laughs> and the cars come out of turn number four. The green flag is out. David Beatty jumps out to a quick early lead here, taking position from the one of Amick and just in front of the four of, of Heinrich Muller. John Juneman now runs fourth, Richard Bowman fifth, Terry Gammon sixth. Those are the top six cars. Beatty. Takes the lead again here, coming down the back straightaway in the turn number three now. Coming out of turn number four, we're on lap two here. It's going to be Baby, Muller, Amick, one, two, three. A little further back in the pack, we've got Juneman, Gammon, Bowman, Mulliken, and Omby. Aaron Johnson of the Johnson High Racing Team is running dead last now, about five seconds back of the leaders. <coughs> lap number three now. It's David Beatty showing the way as they come out of turn number four down the front straightaway. Beatty now in turn number one in between one and two comes out of turn number two with the lead followed by Heinrich Muller and Eugene Amick. Amick now looking to the inside of Muller. He's wheel to wheel with Muller. They come out of turn number two and head down the back straight or down the four down the front straightaway and it's Amick that's taking the position now. David Beatty in first, Eugene Amick second, Heinrich Muller third, Perry Gammon fourth, and the 11 car of Richard Bowman rounds out the top five. Here we are on lap number five of 40 at Lanier National Speedway. Out of turn number two down the back straightaway now. Back in to David Beatty, who's got about a half a second lead here on the one car of Eugene Amick and the four of Heinrich Muller. A little further back in the pack, we've got Perry Gammon in fourth, Richard Bowman fifth, John Juneman sixth, Brian Ownby seventh, Johnson in the Number double zero and W root beer car has gained one position to move up into 11th place. Let's look a little further back here at the 12 car. Bounces off the wall right in front of Johnson. Johnson gives him a pretty good tag. The 12 of Daniel Mulliken now slow down on the inside and we'll head back up front to the leaders. David Beatty out front now followed by Eugene Amy Heinrich Muller, Perry Gannon, Richard Bowman, and John Juneman. Amy can run a nice smooth race here. He's led every lap so far. We're nine laps in. And it's David Beatty in first, Eugene Amick second, Heinrich Muller third. Perry Gammon in fourth, Richard Bowman running in Sorry, man. Let's work our way back through the pack a little bit. We've got uh, David Beatty in first. There's Eugene Amick in the one car, followed by Heinrich Muller. Heinrich driving that sort of um, uh, patina paint job on the four. And Richard Bowman then follows him in car number 11. That's the FedEx Legends car behind Bowman. 
is the Fury-sponsored 7 of John Juniman, followed by the 9 of Alftenbrink, the 6 of Lamers, the 10 of Owensby. Johnson now has moved up in the double zero car to ninth position, and Maxence Antoine rounds out the top 10. We'll go back up front with David Beatty here with 13 laps into a 40 lap race. Beatty with the lead. Eugene Amick has closed ever so slightly on Beatty now. About a two car length, car and a half length lead for Beatty over Amick. Amick seems to be just a little bit quicker than Beatty right now. Beatty's got the preferred line. It's, it's a little hard to pass here at, um, at uh, Lanier National. You really kind of have to get off the corner and get a fender under somebody. It seems to me like you got to do a little bit of rooting if you're going to get by somebody here at Lanier. David Beatty is not leaving any openings for you Amick. It's Beatty, Amick, Muller, Bowman, Juniman, followed by Alftenbrink, Lamers, and Ownby. Lap number 15 of 40 is in the books as we go by this time now on lap number 16. Let's see what Aaron Joss is doing here in the back. He is closed in on a pack of cars. He's working on the six of Cliff Lamers now. Johnson looks to the outside. Lamers goes low to take a peek underneath the seven of Juniman. Looks like Lamer, Lamers is going to make that pass under Juniman. Johnson now runs right up behind Juniman as Lamers and Juniman are side by side. Johnson now looking low underneath the seven of uh, Juniman as well. He follows Lamers out, takes the low groove, and looks like he's going to make the pass on the seven car of John Juniman. That's Johnson now moving up to the eighth spot here at Lanier National. We'll go back up front and take a ride with the leaders. It's still David Beatty out in the lead, followed by Eugene Amick, Heinrich Muller, Richard Bowman, and Daniel Alftenbrinka. Beatty now has led 19 laps as we are moving in here, getting close to the halfway point. We come out of turn number four on the front straightaway. David Beatty leads and past the start finish line as we start lap number 20. Here at Lanier National, it's Beatty, Amick, Muller now falling back a little bit, followed by Richard Bowman and Daniel Alftenbrinka. At the halfway point, it's going to be David Beatty with the lead, followed by Eugene Amick. Amick taking a peek to the inside, doesn't have quite enough race car to get that done. He's going to be content, at least for now, to follow Beatty to go down the back straightaway into turn number three. It's going to be Beatty, Amick, Muller. Let's take another look back in the pack here. Johnson has closed in on the six of Cliff Lamers. Johnson now taking a peek, putting some pressure on Lamers. Lamers has fallen back from Brian Ownby in 10th. Johnson looks to the inside now. He's got a nice run on Lamers going down into turn number three. He comes out of turn number four onto the front straightaway. Johnson looking underneath Lamers. Lamers stays to the outside on the throttle hard as they go into turn number one. Johnson pulls Lamers coming off of two. Johnson's gonna take that spot and work his way up into seventh position. Let's go back to the leaders now. It's David Beatty in first, followed by Eugene Anik, Heinrich Steenmuller, Richard Bowman, and Daniel Alftenbrinka. Johnson seems to be the big mover right now, having come from 12th place to 7th with 17 laps to go. The question is, can Johnson find his way to the front? The answer is, there's just not enough laps. Johnson is about four seconds back with 16 to go. He'd have to gain a quarter of a second a lap, and that's really hard to do here at Lanier, especially in cars as evenly matched as these are. Beatty in first, Amick second, Muller third, Bowman fourth, Alfton Brinka fifth, Owen B sixth, Johnson now in seventh place. <clears throat> Beatty drives down into turn number three, comes out of four onto the front straightaway, and it's still going to be David Beatty with the lead. Beatty's disappeared for a minute. It looks like he's got a little internet lag. Hopefully he's going to come back in. There he is. Oh, he's disappeared yet again. Beatty with a little internet lag here. If he should happen to disconnect, that would drop this race right into Eugene Amick's lap. I know Amick would like to win wheel to wheel, but iRacing is competitive. You take a win any way you can get it. That internet lag, if you've noticed here, there was a little bit larger of a, of a, of a gap between Beatty and Amick after the lag, and that's because most racers, when the car in front of them disappears, you instinctively slow down a little bit. You don't want that car to pop back into existence and have you be right on top of them where you're going to be in an accident. At this point in time, there's 12 to go. David Beatty with the lead, followed by Amy Muller, Bowman, Alftenbrinka, Ownby, and Aaron Johnson in the seven car. Those would be the seven cars here running up front, although it's Beatty and Amy with a considerable lead now over the second place car. Amy looking inside, just doesn't have quite enough to get it done. 11 laps left here in the race. It's going to be Beatty in the lead, followed by Eugene Amick, Heinrich Muller, Richard Bowman, Daniel Alftenbrinka. We get now to lap number 10, and it looks like there's a little bit of action back here. 
with this group of five cars that are going to be racing hard for what looks like it might be third place. Johnson's worked his way into this group. It's going to be the four of Muller, Bowman in the three, Alfton Brinka in the nine, Owen B in the ten, and Johnson in the eight. These five cars now racing hard sort of fender to fender as they come into turn number three. Now onto the front straightaway. They're door to door side by side. This is some pretty exciting action. It looks like it looks like the four of Muller is going to get shuffled up high. He manages to to maybe get a little grip there. It's Muller on the outside with the 10 of Ownby on the inside. Johnson now trying to decide where he wants to go. Johnson runs up high, puts a little bit of distance in between him and the rest of those cars. Right now it's the 11 of Bowman who is uh, leading this group. It looks like Muller did get shuffled up high that time. That's going to move everyone past Muller now. It's going to be uh, Alftenbrinka, and Bowman up front with Owenby. Owenby smacks the wall. Johnson goes underneath Owenby now. Now there are three cars left. It's going to be Bowman in the 11, the 9 of Alfton Brinka, and Johnson in the 8. Johnson now has moved up into the top five, even with that damaged race car after that incident early. Back out front, it's still David Beatty with the lead, followed by the 1 of Amick. But the action seems to be back here between the 11 of Bowman, the 9 of Alfton Brinka, and the 8 of Johnson. Back up front, we've got the five of Beatty out front with a consistent, stable lead over Amy. Johnson now tucks in on the rear bumper of the nine of Alfred Brinker. Alfred Brinker gets a little sideways coming off the corner there. Johnson now turns underneath Alfred Brinker. They touch just a little. Johnson moves Alfred Brinker to the outside. It's going to be 11 of Bowman. The 10 now makes a wild dive. That's Owen being the 10, diving into the inside now. It's the 9 of Alfton Brinka looking to the inside of the 11 of Bowman. Johnson in the double zero now looks to the inside of the 9 of Alfton Brinka. It's Johnson on the inside of Alfton Brinka now. Looks like he's got position as they go into turn number three and come out of turn number four into the front straightaway. Alfton Brinka on the throttle hard. Johnson now not only looking under Alfton Brinka, but he's got a fender underneath the 11 of Bowman. There's two to go here. It's Johnson under Bowman. The 10 of Ownby trying to make his way past. Johnson's now made a move for third. Let's go back up front. It's going to be David Beatty in first place here as we come around turn number four onto the front straightaway. Beatty's going to take the checkered flag here. Second place is going to go to Eugene Amick. Third place is going to go to Johnson in the double zero. The 10 of Ownby is going to finish fourth. Alfton Brinka in the nine will finish fifth. Bowman in the 11 is sixth. Ooh, that was fun. Seventh. Muller eighth. Cliff Lamers ninth. And yeah, there was a lot of fun in that one. In 10th At least position. We trust each other. For the Johnson I Racing team, this is Aaron Johnson saying, go fast, turn left, have fun.